Bring camera two levels. This is mathematics paper one. Variant is twelve. Syllabus code four zero two four. Session May June twenty nine. Time is two hours and calculators are not allowed. Question number one. Four by seven divided by five by eight. Four by seven into eight by five. Is thirty two by thirty five. Question one B part. Square root of sixty four is eight. Cube root of one twenty five is five, and you're left with three. Question number two. Use a straight edge and compass only in this question. Construct the locus of point inside the quadrilateral A B C D that are equidistant from A B and B C. So AB and BC equidistant from these two lines makes it a angle bisector. So place the needle on B, draw the arc on both sides, then lift your needle and place it on the previously drawn arc, and do the same on the other side. Now just stretch a line between B and this point of intersection. This is your angle bisector. Question number three. The height of water in centimeters in a river is recorded every week for ten weeks. The heights of the water compared with its normal level are listed below. Work out the range. So range is basically maximum value minus minimum value. So maximum value is forty minus the minimum value is forty-five. When the range is eighty-five centimeters, calculate the mean. So we have these ten values. You'll have to add all of them. Minus forty-five, minus thirty, minus thirty-five, zero five, minus ten, minus twenty, forty, twenty, twenty-five, divided by ten. So sum of all this is. Minus fifty by ten, and your mean is minus five. Question number four. By writing each number correct to one significant figure, estimate the value of this. So up to one significant figure, seventy one point eight becomes seventy minus thirty divided by zero point two squared. So seventy minus thirty is forty divided by zero point zero four. Get rid of this decimal. We multiply both numerator and denominator by hundred. That becomes four thousand by four, and the final answer is one thousand. <clears throat> Question number five: Lamps are made in factory. A random sample of fifty lamps is tested, and four of them found to be faulty. A total of four thousand lamps is made in one day. Calculate the number of these four thousand lamps which you would expect to be faulty. So, tested ratio faulty is fifty and four. So four thousand ratio x. Just cross multiply. Four times four thousand by fifty. Four into four is sixteen hundred. By five is three twenty. Question number six. <coughs> Daniel earned dollar seven sixty each month. He pays fifteen percent of his earnings in tax. Calculate the amount Daniel has each month after paying tax. So seven sixty times fifteen over hundred. He paid one fourteen as tax. So seven sixty minus one fourteen is six forty six dollars left behind after paying the tax. Daniel invested twelve hundred dollars. In a saving account, the account pays simple interest at a rate of two percent per year. Calculate the amount of money in the account after six years. So interest is P R T over hundred. Principal amount invested is twelve hundred. The rate is two in six years by one hundred. Two six times twelve. Twelve twelve times is one forty four. So in his account. He be having 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फाइंड द फ्रैक्शन दैट लाइज हाफ वे बिटवीन दिस सो हाफ वे बिटवीन इज थ्री बाय फाइव प्लस थ्री बाय फोर एंड देन इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो यू टेक दी एलसीएम दिस इज ट्वेंटी एंड फोर थ्री टाइम्स इज ट्वेल्व फाइव थ्री टाइम्स इज फिफ्टीन इंटू वन बाय टू ट्वेल्व एंड फिफ्टीन इज ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय ट्वेंटी इंटू वन बाय टू ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय फोर्टी क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अ ड्रिंक इज मेड बाय मिक्सिंग फ्रूट जूस एंड वाटर इन द रेशो थ्री रेशो फाइव द ड्रिंक इज मेड यूजिंग टू लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर सो फ्रूट जूस एंड वाटर द रेशो इज ऑलरेडी गिवन टू जूस टू लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट ऑफ फ्रूट जूस यूज की वी आंसर इन मिलीमीटर्स सो फ्रूट जूस रेशो वाटर वी ऑलरेडी हैव दिस डेटा एंड वी नीड आंसर इन मिलीमीटर्स सो लेट मी कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू टू थाउजेंड एंड दिस इज अन नोन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ फ्रूट जूस वॉज यूज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन अ कार स्टार्ट जर्नी फ्रॉम रेस्ट इट मूव्स विद अ कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स एंटिल इट रीच इज अ स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टीन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम रेस्ट जीरो जीरो एंड इन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इट रीच अ स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टीन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्केच ऑफ योर इंफॉर्मेशन इट देन मूव एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टीन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड फॉर फोर्टी सेकेंड्स सो ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर्टी इज सिक्सटी फॉर द रिमेनिंग फोर्टी सेकेंड्स द स्पीड स्टेज फिफ्टीन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड Calculate the acceleration of the car in the first twenty seconds of the journey. So, in first twenty seconds, acceleration is v minus u, final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. So, fifteen minus zero by twenty is fifteen by twenty five three times and five four times is three by four. Question number ten. Use set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram. <coughs> so what we have here is if we combine these two circles we get t union r but you eliminate this unshaded part and get the intersection with q complement so p union r intersection q complement b part x is such that x is a positive number a is x is such that Nine less than x, x is less than ten. B is such that an x is an irrational number. So write down the element A intersection B. So it should be irrational one thing, and it should be between nine and ten. So if we just write nine squared is eighty one and put a square root, and ten square is hundred and put a square root, these are still nine and ten. so anything between these with the square root would be between 9 and 10 and to make it irrational it has to be non perfect square so you can write any number between these i'm selecting square root 82 question number 11 simultaneous equations so i'm just going for a multiplication of 2 in the second equation to make y same so 9x plus 4y equals minus 5 Two six times is twelve x minus four y equals twelve. Add these nine and twelve is twenty one x. Get rid of this and seven. So x is equals to seven by twenty one. X is equals to one by three. Substitute this value in any of the equations. Six x. Minus two y is equals to six. Six into one by three. Minus two y is equals to six. Three one times three two times two minus two y equals six. Minus two y is equals to six minus two minus two y is equals to four. Y is equals to four by negative two. Y is equals to minus two. So x is one by three and y is minus two. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व राइट दीज नंबर इन ऑर्डर ऑफ साइज स्टार्टिंग विद द स्मॉलेस्ट सो स्मॉलेस्ट इज दिस विद द लीस्ट पावर सो वन पॉइंट सेवन इंटू टेन रेस्ट पावर माइनस फाइव देन ग्रेटेस्ट इज दिस विद द हाइस्ट पावर सो टू पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन रेस्ट पावर माइनस थ्री दीज टू हैव द सेम पावर सो वी लुक एट द रिमेनिंग नंबर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इज स्मॉलर देन फोर पॉइंट टू B part P is given Q is given evaluate the following give your give each answer in standard form so P minus Q six into ten raised to power ten minus five into ten raised to power nine I'm taking out ten raised to power nine as common so we are left with six into ten power one minus five so ten raised to power nine this is six ten times sixty sixty minus five is Fifty-five. Convert this into standard form. Five point five into ten raised to power ten. B second part says P multiplied with Q. So six into ten raised to power ten multiplied by five into ten raised to power nine. Base is same. Powers add ten raised to power nineteen. Six five times is thirty. Change it into standard form, and answer is three point two into ten to the power twenty. Question number thirteen. Expand and simplify. So this is a minus b whole square, a square minus two ab plus b square. Do write your answers in the answer space. Factorize. So we can take out six as common, three minus y, and then we can take out five x as common, and we're left with y minus three. We'll be rearranging these to get the same result. So six into three minus y. If I take out negative as common, this becomes minus five x, and we're left with three minus y inside. So six minus Five x times three minus y. Question number fourteen. Uh, write x square minus seven x plus five in the form this. So this is the completing square form. So x square minus seven x plus five. In between, what do you do? Is take The square of half of coefficient of x. So coefficient of x, half of it, then square of it, and add and subtract. So plus seven by two square minus seven by two squared. Close these first three. X is copied. Negative sign is copied. Seven by two is copied. Whole square minus seven seven times is forty nine by four plus five. X minus seven by two whole squared. Take the LCM minus forty nine plus twenty, and simplify it. So X minus seven by two whole squared forty nine twenty. The difference is twenty nine by four. Writing in fractions or decimals is your choice. Hence, write down the minimum value. So, minimum value you can just copy it from there. That is minus twenty nine by four. Question number fifteen. Write one sixty eight as product of its prime factors. So, one sixty eight two is eighty four two forty two two is twenty one three seven times and seven one times. So it is two cube times three times seven. B part. The highest common factor of one sixty eight and n is forty two. So if we may write one sixty eight is two cube times three times seven. In order to understand this question, you should have the basic knowledge of HCF. Make sure you've revised that. And n is something with that should be here. 
and HCF which is already given is 42. So if I write 42, the breakdown of which is 21, 3, 7 times and 7, 1 time. So that is 2 into 3 into 7. So what should we have? The possible values of N, possible values of N to have this HCF are 3 into 7 into 2, 42. Or we can have 3 into 7 into 2 square. eighty four let me complete the combinations three into seven into two cube one sixty eight three into seven into two into okay now before we write this just see for HCF you have to choose the smallest number so there's single two single three and single seven so I'm eliminating this it cannot be the case but when you change these you have to justify this limit that n should be between 200 and 300 so 42 is also eliminated this cannot be n this cannot be n 168 is out of this so let me think out of the box if we choose 5 i get 210 now when you select the hcf from 3 7 2 and 5 you still get 237 and 210 is the first possible answer then we keep on trying this was there the basic number is already there and you try it with 7 you get 294 this is the second number between these two to have the same HCF 42 will still give the same HCF but it is not between 200 and 300 question number 16 transformation Triangle A and triangle B are drawn on the grid. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto B. So A onto B is a simple translation of 1, 2, 3, minus 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 3 and 4. So it is a translation with translation vector minus 3 4 B part says triangle A is mapped onto triangle C by enlargement with center x 0 y 3 and scale factor minus 2 so just join it and extend it on the other side join this line extend it on the other side then the third line and extend it on the other side and because the scale factor is minus 2, measure this length, use a compass, place your needle here, pencil on this side, then switch it on the other side, 1, 2. For this, let me change colors. This is 3 boxes, so 1 and 2. So this is 3 boxes, 1 and 2. So finally, you get your answer these are the coordinates and label it C question number 17 probability <clears throat> Nema has these six cards each card has a shape on it she takes two cards at random without replacement that means the total is decreasing complete the tree type so what is the chances that she gets a triangle is 2 out of 6. Then the second card, if the first card is already removed, that was the circle. There were three, there were four circles. One is already removed. So three out of five. When we talk about the triangle, there are still two and one is removed. First card is removed. So two by five. Talk about the circle. One is already removed. Total is five and there are four circles present one triangle is removed only one is left out of five find the probability that the shape on Nima's two cards are same so same shape is one is this shape 
second is this so 4 by 6 into 3 by 5 plus 2 by 6 <coughs> into 1 by 5 along the branch it is multiplied across the branches they are added 6 4 times is 12 5 6 times is 30 2 1 times is 2 6 5 times is 30 take the LCM 12 plus 2 14 by 30 2 7 times 2 15 times so the probability is 7 by 15 find r when p is equals to minus 2 4 into minus 2 plus 2 and divided by 3 minus minus 2 so 4 2 times is minus 8 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 so minus 8 into is minus 6 3 plus 2 is 5 so minus 6 over 5 rearrange the formula to make p the subject so i'm cross multiplying it on the other side gives it 3 r minus r p is equals to 4 p plus 2 so 3 r minus 2 is equals to 4 p plus r p 3 r minus 2 take out p is common 4 plus r divide this on the other side so 3 r minus 2 over 4 plus r question number 19 y is inversely proportional to square of x so y is inversely proportional to square of x then the equation would be k over x square first set of values given x is 4 y is 10 4 square is 16 into 10 160 is equals to k y is equals to 160 over x square and when x is 10 160 divided by 10 squared is 160 by 100 is equals to 1.6 describe the effect on y when x is halved so look at the equation carefully when you will half the value of x half of x will actually decrease it four times x is there so when you half it it becomes x square by four so it is reducing denominator is reducing four times which will increase the value of y by four Four times <clears throat> question number 20 simplify this given question so we first do it inside y gets away with y this is 8 and x cancels out with x we left with 2x so 9x square divided by y 8 and power is negative 1 by 2 power is negative so we take the reciprocal and it becomes 1 by 2 so 8 into 1 by 2 is 4 square root of 9 is 3 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 my final answer is y4 over 3 Question number 21. A cube has a square base. The length of the base of the cuboid is y. The height of the cuboid is twice the length of its base. So if we may just have a sketch. Square base, let's say this is y by y. And height is 2 times the base. So it becomes 2y. The total surface area is given. Find the height of the cuboid. So total surface area is basically we have this square face which becomes y into y and we have two squares at top and bottom times two plus one of the height is 2y into this length is y so 2y into y and we have four such faces 2y square 2y square into 4 is 8 
y square 10 y square so 10 y square the surface area is 360 divided by 10 y square is equals to 36 square root both sides should be plus minus 6 but these are lengths so positive value only 6 centimeters height is 2 times y 2 into 6 is 12 so 12 centimeters question number 22 here are the first three patterns in a sequence made using dots and lines complete the table for the first five patterns in the sequence so number of dots three number of dots six number of dots nine so we can see there is an increase of three this becomes 12 and 15 now number of lines one two already there one two three four five six seven is there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so you have to see the difference this is five this is five so five again would make it 17 five again will make it 22 find the expression in terms of n for the number of lines and patterns so number of lines second one we have this sequence with constant difference in them so you can use this formula a plus n minus 1 into d where a is the first term in this case that is 2 plus n minus 1 d is the difference which is 5 so 2 plus 5n minus 5 keep simplifying we get 5n minus 3 c part anwa makes one of these patterns using 92 lines find the number of dots in anwa's pattern so if we have 92 lines term number is a plus we've already found it so term number is 5 n minus 3 now anwa is using 92 dots so 5 n minus 3 92 plus 3 is 5 n 95 equals 5 n n is equals to 95 by 519 so anwar is making 19th pattern and when we come back to dots this is 3 6 9 12 13 that is a table of 3 multiple of 3 so 3 times 19 there are 57 dots when 92 lines are used in pattern number 19 question number 23 and solution the diagram shows two circles both with center O. The radius of the small circle is 3 cm and the radius of the large circle is 6 cm. The minor sector AOB, AOB, this minor sector, has an angle of 60 degrees. The total area of the shaded region is k pi centimeter square. Find the value of k. Okay, this small gray region is basically angle by 360 into pi r square. Plus, now this larger gray is actually 360 minus 60, a sector of 300 degrees. So that is angle by 360 times pi r square now when we consider this larger part we're actually finding the area of this complete region and we have to take away this white part so subtract 300 by 360 into pi r square and now we simplify 6 1 times 6 6 times so 1 by 6 into pi into 9 plus 6 5 times 6 6 times into pi into 36 minus 5 by 6 again into pi into 9 this is 9 1 times 9 by 6 pi 36 6 1 times 
six six times six five times is thirty pi minus three two times three three times so five three times is fifteen by two pi. So we take the LCM six and two LCM is six nine pi plus six three times is one eighty pi minus three into fifty five is fifteen is forty five pi. So one eighty plus nine one eighty nine minus forty five is one forty four pi by six one forty four by six is twenty four pi. So value of k is twenty four. Question number twenty four. A, B, and C are points on the circle center O, and A, B is equals to B, C. A, B is equals to B, C. P is the midpoint of chord A, B. If it is the midpoint, these two should be equal. And Q is the midpoint of chord B, C. So these two must be equal as well. So we have these four as equal parts. Let us remove this. Prove that triangle. O A P, O A P is congruent to triangle O C Q, O C Q. Okay, to prove congruency, I'll solve it here so I don't have to zoom it out. We can first say that A P is equal to A P is equal to C Q, which is already given in the question. then we can say o a is equals to o c these two because these are the radiuses of the same circle now c o p a angle o p a this angle is 90 degrees because it is the midpoint of the chord is equals to O Q C again equal to ninety degrees. So side, side, and angle. Now we can state by side angle side. They are congruent. <clears throat> B part of the same question. Given that obtuse angle C O A is one forty. Obtuse angle. I'll have to zoom out. Obtuse angle C O A is one forty degrees. Find angle Q C O. Q C O. So we have to find this angle. So if I go for one forty, this is half of that. One forty half of that is seventy degrees, and then just again we prove these congruent, and half of it would be thirty five and thirty five. Use these two radiuses. This is an isosceles triangle, and bring this thirty-five on the other side. So your working would look like this: A B C is equals to half of one forty, which is seventy, and O B C is half of seventy, which is thirty-five, and thirty-five comes on other side as isosceles triangle. This is thirty-five degrees. Question number twenty-five. Evaluate PQ. So multiply these two matrices. Four zero minus two three into Q is one two zero minus one. So row into column. First row, first column. Four into one is four plus zero. First row, second column. Four into two is eight. Zero into one is zero. Second row, first column. Minus two into one. Three into zero, minus two into two, three into minus one, so which becomes four, eight, minus two, minus seven. Four, eight, minus two, minus seven. B part. Matrix M is given. The determinant of matrix M is minus four. That's already there. So determinant is this into this. Minus this into this, so three into k minus 
minus 1 into 2 and the determinant is minus 4. So 3k minus 2, this makes it plus 2 is equals to minus 4. 3k is equals to minus 4 minus 2. 3k is equals to minus 6. And k is equals to minus 2. Find m inverse. m inverse is 1 over determinant of m into a disjoint of m. So 1 over determinant which is already given that is minus 4 into adjoint. Adjoint is place change and sign change. So when we change the places minus 2 and 3 and when you change the signs this is 1 and 2. It is your choice if you want to divide every element with negative 4 you can still copy the numbers like this. That was it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.